Greetings guys, this is Magnanima's uh, Minds Lectures Online. Today we are doing Engineering Science M3 Fraction and we've got a question here which is question uh, 4, I don't know from which paper. The first question says explain what is meant by the angle of friction and 4.2 says figure 4 shows this figure 4 shows a body with the weight of 490 newtons being pushed along a horizontal plane at a constant velocity 8 meters per second a force fx at an angle of theta yes force f yes the angle with the horizontal the power transmitted to the body is uh, 3700 watts and the normal reaction between the body and the plane is uh, 920 newtons and then the first question for 4.2 says calculate the mass of the body then calculate the friction force between the body and the plane and 4.2.3 vertical component of force f and 4.2.4 uh, the magnitude of force f so let's attempt to answer those questions point one says we should uh, define the angle of friction the angle of friction is defined as the angle between the resultant and the normal reaction force which can be replaced by the normal reaction force and the maximum frictional force so let's That's 4.1 and then 4.2 we are given a weight of 490 and we're given nr equals to 920 newton and we're given power as 3700 watts and then we're also given velocity as 8 meters per second and then the first question 4.2.1 says calculate the mass of the body we know that weight equals to mass times gravitational acceleration this force equals to mass times acceleration not newton's second law and then we make a mass subject of the formula so it's w over g substitute what we have 490 over 9.8 Punch that into the calculator for 90 divided by 9.8 close to 50 grams. Okay, times 9.8 for 90 here. Yeah. That's it. And then 4.2.2 says uh, calculate the friction force between the body and the plane and if you check that body that body is like this there's a force acting at an angle it has the normal force it has the weight and it also has a frictional force so we've got nr here we've got an angle here we've got f we've got weight weight is uh, 490 nr equals to 920 
we do not have this and we also do not have this so what we can do is that we can set up equations of forces acting in the y direction and we'll get the y component of uh, the y component of of the force here and uh, if we do that we are going to get the y component of the force but we won't get the force since we don't have angle theta so the best way to go around this will be to use the power that we are given since we are told that uh, the power transmitted to the body is 3700 watts so we can get uh, the x component the x component of the force from from that and we do that we're going to say power equals to w over t and we know that w equals to f times s over t and from there we know that uh, s over t which is distance over time is velocity so it's going to be f v then we make f subject of the formula so we're going to end up with p over v substitute the power that we have is 3000 and the v that we have it's 8 meters per second punch that into the calculator 3700 over 8 equals to 462.5 now from the question here we are told that uh, the body moves at a constant velocity so that means acceleration is zero and when acceleration is zero that means the body is in equilibrium so we set up equilibrium equation of forces acting in the x direction the horizontal so it's going to be fx equals to zero and fx we've got f applied x which is going to the positive direction here and then the y is going downwards so it's going to be fx minus frictional force equals to zero f a x equals to frictional force and uh, we know that uh, our f a x is the force that pushes the body which is this force that we calculated here so it's going to be f a x equals to 462.5 newtons that's our frictional force and then when we move to Four point two point three. It says calculate the vertical component of the force. The vertical component of the force is this part. So we set equilibrium equations in the vertical direction, which is F Y equals to zero. Then the vertical direction we've got uh, N R W and also that force. So it's going to be N R since it's going in the positive direction minus W, which is going in the negative direction, minus F. E Y since this force is acting at an angle and downward, so the Y component goes downward, and this goes to zero. And we have this and this, so F E Y. We take uh, F E Y to the other side; it becomes positive. So it's going to be F E Y equals to N R minus W. Now N R it's nine twenty. Our W it's 490 punch this into the calculator 920 minus 490 equals to 480 newtons and the last question says calculate the magnitude of force f force f 2.4 force f is that uh, force acting at an angle so we've got the y comp the x component which is f a x and we also got the f a y which is the y component and this creates a right angle we can use pythagoras to find the resultant which is f so it's going to be f squared equals to f 
3x squared plus fpy squared. Therefore, f equals to square root of a x squared plus f e y squared. And if we punch in what we get, we have it's going to be 462.5 squared plus 430 squared, all under square root. Punch this into the calculator, it's going to be. 462.5 squared plus 430 squared and we get 631 631.511 neutrons so that's our resultant force and we are done with this equation friction so this is the first part Definition of angle of friction 4.2.1 getting the mass 4.2.2 getting the frictional force and then 4.2.3 getting the y component of the force applied at an angle and the last one is getting the resultant force which is the resultant of the y component of the force applied and the x component of the force applied so that's just getting the resultant thanks for watching magnanimous minds lectures online and please do subscribe to our channel and like our videos we will highly appreciate that you can also follow us on our social media handles on facebook facebook we are magnanimous minds instagram magnanimous underscore minds and on twitter we are our twitter handle is at uh, magnanimous mine one mine as in m i n one thank you